Hi everyone, Alex here. Today we're going to take a look at dynamic renders and how we can use these in conjunction with the Upload Preset Manager to upload images and videos to nft.storage and similar sites. So I've got a scene set up here as an example to use. This is some artwork for the band Brother and Wolf in which we want to random generate some stills to be used as NFTs. So to begin with, I'm going to use Alt B on Windows or Options B on Mac OS. I'm going to add the current composition to bring in the composition for rendering. We're now going to open the dynamic tab and check the dynamic render box here. For this example, we're going to create four unique images. So let's set the number of renders to four. I'm going to make sure that the format is PNG and we're going to set the output to current frame for this project. This will work on all file types, so you can export videos and images. Dynamic rendering can be used to generate different values at the render time to create many variations of the same composition. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that we're actually going to export four unique images. To do this, I'm going to connect the dynamic render to a value array and control attributes within the scene that we want to change upon the render. I'm going to open the oscillator in this scene. I'm going to right click wave style, add array, value array. Now I'm going to open the value array and I'm going to add three more arrays by clicking the plus button here. And we're going to set these from zero to three consecutively. Now we need to connect the dynamic index to the value array. So back in the render manager, drag a connection anchor from the dynamic index here to the array index attribute on the value array. This will ensure that the oscillator's wave style will update with each render. I'm also going to connect the dynamic index to my shape rotation value array and a color array very quickly, just to add a little more diversity to the renders. So the dynamic renders are set up and what we need to do now is set up the upload preset manager. To do this, go to window upload preset manager and you should have a preset that looks like this all you need is your unique bearer token you can get this from nft.storage so just go to your browser search nft.storage there's going to be a few steps to log in or register but once in you need to go to api keys which you can find along the top here and you should see a button that says add new key this will ask you to give the key a name. So we're gonna go with Brother and Wolf as that's what this project is for. Press create and this will take you back to the API keys page where you can see the key you've just created along with any existing keys that you might already have. All you need to do with your key now is go to actions and copy. Now we can go back to cavalry and paste this into our token field in the upload preset manager. This will ensure that our renders make a unique CID, which is a content identifier for data, just for you. Back in the render manager, we need to go to the advanced tab, check upload, and then on the upload preset, we need to select the preset that we've made in the preset manager. Any other presets you make in the preset manager will also appear here, so you can have more than one. As an extra option, you can check write metadata which will ensure that metadata files will be exported along with the render. And you can also choose what file type you'd like to export your metadata as here. We've got JSON, simple traits JSON, or NFT JSON, depending on what you need. With all of that set up, we can now hit render all. This will render to the folders that you've previously set up, but also direct to nft.storage. You will see an upload progress by here, so just make sure you don't cancel the render before this has finished uploading. So let's go back to nft.storage and check on our files. These will all now appear under the files header timestamped with a unique CID. And that's how you use Cavalry Upload Manager to upload files to nft.storage. For further info on getting started with nft.storage, there are some really useful docs on their site explaining how to navigate the site. That's all for now. Thank you and goodbye.